Hello everybody, this is Fuzzfinger and welcome back to our Let's Play of Final Fantasy 7. Today we're going to be heading to North Coral and to the Gold Saucer. At least that's the plan. Uh, before we go, you might just want to make sure you've got a good team since we're going to be having a few random encounters and equip them with some decent weapons and materia. Uh, if you've got the Force Stealer and the Wind Slash, so the Wind Slash for Yuffie and the Force Stealer with Cloud, then make sure you equip some materia that you want to level up since they give the uh, double the rate. As you can see, I'm trying to level up my all materia since they sell for 1.4 million gold. And that's a good thing since we're going to need lots of gold later on when we are uh, chocobo training, which we will get into as the time comes. So for now, we're going to be heading to... Uh, coral, or the mountains of coral, or something like that. And I'd advise you keep Barret in your party at this point, simply because you're going to be needing him uh, to do a, a boss fight on his own later solo, and you want to make sure he's got some decent levels in preparation for that. One thing I have noticed. Oh right, I was going to say I couldn't find my enemy skill, but Barrett's got it. That's okay. Ah, oh, they drop high potions, which is fairly useful. And we can cross this bridge here. This will take us to Mount Coral. It is quite linear, uh, this game at this particular moment. There's not really anything extra we need to find or collect or anything along those lines. But... There's a couple of things I'll probably point out to you on the way. Oh, that's annoying. I was hopefully going to be able to kill this before we uh, receive that, but... That's okay, you kill one and kill the other. That's useful. And somehow we managed to level Cloud up, even though they do not give much experience at all. Once again, we are leaving the world map. Ah, oh, I remember uh, way back in 1997, actually, when this game first came out, uh, playing the demo. And this is actually where the demo began, which is why I'm mentioning it at this point in time. And that was really my first introduction to Final Fantasy VII. So this bit always brings memories back for me. I think it was the PC demo. I can't remember it being a PlayStation demo anyway. And this is the Coral Reactor. And you have random enemy encounters. Lovely. Let's throw a summon down onto these. Along with the Bolt All spell. And Cloud can use his shiny new Force Stealer. Should anything survive. Well done, Yuffie. Yeah, that's going to take care of pretty much everything, isn't it? Bolt 2. And we're getting some decent XP now. And a little bit of AP as well for our materia. There's not we can really do with this reactor for the time being. So, just make your way through this area. Should we go for the whole general attack, see if we can get rid of these? Ooh, poison breath, that doesn't sound very nice. But the limit break, now that sounds nice. See if Yuffie can one hit this thing. Nope, she sucks. It's 
still will need to use her limit break to try and collect her second, which we didn't do this time. Let's throw a couple of the old potions on us since these are getting quite crap now. I'm going to use these instead of restore materia uh, from the menu so we can try and get rid of them. They're pretty much no good in battle anymore. Okay. Oh, I don't think we need to go down here to be honest. No, we don't. Not right now anyway. No! Stop jumping up and down you moron. Okay, we can save our game. There is a couple of items we can collect here actually. Although they are a little bit tricky to get. You have to tap your directional pad while pushing OK in order to collect them. So let's fall down here. Oh, we can't. Okay. We'll start by going up. Okay. That's it. Keep tapping OK. Did we get it? Yes, we did. Well, we will get it in just a moment. Come on, Cloud. Thank you. And for our trouble of falling, we collect a wizard staff. Which I'm guessing is something half useful for Ares. And a machine gun. Ah. Ah, interesting, interesting. More double material growth for slightly less damage. I think that sounds like a good trade. We no longer have Cure All, not that we was using it, but we can continue to level up uh, some stuff there. And why not throw our Fire Materia on as well, so you we can level that up. So yeah, I know that the All Materia isn't linked, but it is getting leveled along with the Cure at double the rate. And now this time... Oh no, we've jumped. Oh no, we haven't. This time we're going to go to the right... There we go. Uh, you have three opportunities to fall. This is the second one for us. But there's only two items to collect. So if you get them both uh, on your first two attempts, then you can jump over the gap on the third. We get a star pendant. We'll keep Cloud with the power wrist. And yeah, I don't... Uh, we could give you up with a star pendant, since there's a fair bit of poison happening around here. Bolt all. And we'll get our fellow party members to attack anything that's left alive afterwards. Oh great, they're casting Bolt on us. Bolt's not going to do anything, is it? No! Stupid idea to have Bolt. Yeah, I just knew that was going to happen. I knew it. Oh, Barrett, where's your enemy skill material gone? Oh, we got rid of it, didn't we? Come on, let's finish this group off. They don't have much health anyway, these things. Thank you, Barrett. Right then. Uh, let's equip somebody with the enemy skill material. It is always useful to have. Uh, Cloud doesn't need long range anymore, so we'll give you him there instead. And there is a material up there, so I'm just going to grab that. Turbo Ether. That's it, we can jump over that one since we have both items. Ah, Transform. Something we do not yet possess. Yeah, go on then. We'll start levelling it up a little bit. We need to get all the green materials mastered at some point anyway. Should we go up or down? I think there might be an item if you go one way. Oh no. No, no. Down takes you across the bridge you cannot cross. Or to the bridge you cannot cross, I should say. Right, then we know that Bolt does nothing here, so... 
you attacking. Map to magic on the other hand might do something useful. Wait for them to do their thing. Come on, let's kill these stupid, annoying pecking birds. And the magic mushrooms as well. Ah, oh, Barrett, your attack sucks. There we go, Matra Magic one shot them all. So I told you it's a useful spell, that. Useful enemy skill. Right then. Now, there is a way to get 10 Phoenix Downs somewhere around here. Although you have to behave quite immorally in order to do it. But first make sure you drop the bridge. And Square didn't want to bother animating the bridge dropping, so they just created a different backdrop. There we go. Once you hear that, uh, the birds playing and squeaking, you can climb up here. This is purely optional. Oh, that's so cute. You gotta take the treasure or leave it where it is. I'm gonna take it because I need it. You do get berated by your party. And you have to have a fight. But it's not a challenging fight at all. Yeah, it's one of these things. So we kill the mum, and for your reward you collect... I think it's 10 Phoenix Downs, actually. I guess we'll find out. We've butchered the mother, so... Yeah, there we go. And now we'll just leave those pure... Uh, the poorly cute birds to die. Which I'm guessing is what's going to happen. Uh, we need to go back, of course. And now we can go down. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so sensitive. We ended... They're going to attack first now. That is so annoying. Bloody Xbox controller. Well, I can't really blame the controller. Final Fantasy VII wasn't really built with it in mind, was it? It's the uh, analog pad. It's just so sensitive. Wow, we need to get some healing done. Hopefully Cloud will one-shot all of these, and then we can uh, throw a few potions around in the menu. Yeah, there we go. So far, all is going according to plan. Items, let's get rid of these crappy potions. See how many it takes to heal your characters up. There'd just be no use in battle anymore. Backtrack down to this bit, and down we go. So... No, nope, not play though, match of magic, that's what we want. Yeah, missed. There we go. Another battle done. Starting to get some limit breaks built up as well now. Oh, two levels. And we get an all materia and restore materia leveled up. How marvellous. Yeah, we desperately want those all materias to be uh, maxed out. Wow, 15,000 nearly before we get regen. Around we go, and I. Th yep, there we go. Couldn't find their cloud was then for a second. 
Right, what we got here? Ah, uh, more of the usual. Right then. Let's see what Matra Magic does this time. Big crap against that big thing at the back, I think, but hopefully since Yuff has attacked it, it should at least be weaker. There we go. The battles at this point in the game are not particularly challenging at all, to be honest. They're more of a formality to slow your game down more than anything else. You can encounter bombs on this bridge. Speaking of which, there we have one. Obviously, if you have an ice materia, then they're not going to particularly enjoy that. But every time you attack them, they do grow to the point of explosion. See? Ah, you don't get any experience once they've blasted you either. Ain't hurts. Wow, you do get a good limit break build up there. And an even better excuse to use your potions. There we go. I think Ice 2 followed by Shiva would be ideal, wouldn't it? And this is North Coral, Barrett's hometown. And look, he's got some friends to greet him. Or not, as the case may be. Okay, so apparently Barrett screwed up somehow in the past and has basically turned this town into a rubbish dump. What has he done? What hasn't he done? Well, we don't know yet, but we're going to find out, that's for sure. You can leave the town, but there's no point, there's nowhere else to go at the moment. There's a couple of shops. The transform material we have just collected. Now I'm pretty sure you can buy uh, some grenades or something around here. Oh, there we go, Molotovs. Yeah, you want to get some of them. They're quite useful in the one of the later battles that Bar Barrett has to do by himself. The Force Stealer you can buy if you didn't win it. Which is a bit annoying, because I could have gone for the HP Plus material if I'd have known that. Still not to worry. Right, what should we get rid of? Iron Banker. Why have we still got them? Hard Edge, we can definitely get rid of that. Four slots. These crap slots. Uh, boomerang, goodbye. Carbon bangle, goodbye. Wizard staff, we shall keep. But atomic scissors, nah, we won't be using them again. Let's get rid of all this as well. Uh, we don't need the laser nuts either. Do we really need spirit plus 10? Nah, probably not. Okay, that'll do nicely. Let's just sort out our items. Battle. And it's time to head to the gold saucer.
Get a bit of Babbit backstory here. To be fair, Carl looks like it was in a bit of a mess before anyhow. So now we get introduced to Dine for the first time. Ah, so Barrett was married. I suppose it makes sense, seeing as how he's got a kid, Marlene. Uh-oh. Those blasted Shinra. They're so evil. They just want to rule the world. Uh, I think what we'll do is save the gold source for the next episode, actually. If you don't want to get on the tram like I've chosen not to at this particular moment, then choose that and you can save your game. There is a save point at the gold saucer, but you have to pay to use it. So I don't really advise that at all. There's one building we can enter. And it's just a few peed off people that you can speak to. But other than that, uh, that's it for Coral. It's basically our access point to the Gold Saucer, which we are going to do in the next episode. And that's basically one big amusement park and is a bit annoying but a bit fun at the same time. So I hope you'll join me for that. Uh, until then, thank you very much. I've been Fuzzfinger. Please rate this video up, it really supports me. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.